foreigners. We've had British members of parliament on about how most of the contractors there are foreigners. They just bring in hardcore sickos, man, and they are here. And then if you, they don't have courts, laws, nothing, and they just call in the SWAT team. Get in here. These parents aren't handing the kid over. I got a flight. I got to put this kid on in one week. I need you here to get him. Do you understand? Get here. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. One major world crisis away from having a totalitarian type of system. The main event is the, the wholesale destruction of the world economy. The push for every nation on the globe to identify and number all of its citizens. Friends, I hope that you will order Shadow Government from Infowars.com. We also have some specials where you can get some of our other films half price when you order Shadow Government. A new level in production quality and in information. It exposes how a cashless society surveillance beast grid of total uh, control is being put into place. This film needs to be seen. Everybody needs to get it. So order yours today. Show it to your friends, your family, your church, your neighbors, your boss, your employees. Shadow government, ladies and gentlemen. Get your copy at Infowars.com today. Shadow government. It gives Big Brother a black eye. Available at Infowars.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way. And you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for survivalseedbank.com. Okay, in the last hour and a half of this Wednesday live broadcast, we're going to open the phones up on the value-added tax, sales taxes, and carbon taxes Obama is pushing with the support of the Republican Party and Glenn Beck, Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly telling you it's so conservative, we've got to do this. Uh, we're going to be going back over uh, that information. I'm also going to get into the Kyrgyzstan uh, shootings that just uh, happened. Clearly the West over there trying to cause an implosion, trying to destabilize uh, Russia and China. Also, increase in Arctic ice confounds doomsayers but does not spell the end of global warming, scientists warn. Yeah, record level sea ice, that's global warming. And we do have that satellite footage I sent you, right? Uh, 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 uh. And see, I found it about a year ago on a NASA site. I haven't found it since. It's a time lapse with a composite from satellites from 76. In fact, Google 30-year time lapse of Arctic ice. 30-year. Oh, no, no, that's a one-year that I was able to find this morning. We have up on Infowars.com and PrisonBonnet.com. We're going to play that one. 
But now that I think about it, let's try one more go or see if Watson can find it. He couldn't even find it last time I wanted to. It was a 30-year composite. So wait, it was 78 to 2008. That's what it was. Uh, 30-year satellite composite. Because why it's important is it shows what happens. It's so elementary. And this is of the Arctic. There's another one of the Antarctic. You can find either one. It'll show the same thing. I know it's elementary for all of you out there. It's not elementary for Congressman Hank Johnson of Georgia, who believes that islands are floating on the water and too many people get on one side of an island, it will capsize, as he said last week uh, in congressional testimony. But in the summer, the Arctic gets smaller, and in the fall and winter, it gets bigger. And he goes, with the seasons, big, small, big, small, big, small, big, small. But they point a satellite at it and show three months in the summer and show it shrinking and go, oh, my God, sea levels, we're all dead, pass the carbon tax. They know full well that's a fraud. They talk to you like you're five-year-old idiots. I don't do that. They talk to you like you're low-grade morons. Islands don't float. They're not going to capsize. Man isn't causing the earthquakes. And paying Al Gore some money isn't going to save you. So we're going to be going over uh, some of that as well today. I just opened the phones up. Let me pull up my call list here. And uh, we will go to your calls here in just a moment. John, is that I am going to you that I just sent you? Okay, good. We'll just give the guys my calls then. We, we have a hybrid radio show here where there's Genesis up in Minnesota, and then I'm down here uh, in Austin, Texas. So you can just IM those to one of the other guys, and then print them and bring them to me. We'll, we'll get through this one way or the other. Uh, but uh, And then we're down here in Austin, Texas. We can take calls from our end or from the other end. In fact, let's just take calls from our end. We'll just do it that way. Um, 888-201-2244, 888-201-2244 is the toll-free number, 888-201-2244. And make sure they know I just opened the phones up in there. We got a Roger Roger on that? Okay, 888-201-2244, or you can call the Genesis lines at 800-686-2237. And I'm going to take calls this segment, so I need you guys to get those for me and bring them in on paper, then we'll we'll do it low-tech here. 800-686-2237. That's the Genesis phones, just so you know. Now, it just disgusts me so much to see all this happening. I don't even want to cover all this news. I don't even want to... Go over it. I don't even want to have to cover this. I'm so sick of the New World Order. I'm so sick of all the uh, crimes they commit. I'm so sick of the public, like a bunch of stupid children, not wanting to face corruption or evil. Not realizing that no one is safe while all of this is going on. John, did you just get that info I just sent you? Okay, good. Thank you. I'm just in here running my own uh, call board system. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Pete in South Carolina. Pete, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. I was trying to call in. Uh, I had a comment about how you were talking about the pedophiles and the CPS and all that. Um, a few years ago, I was a victim. My three kids were a victim of CPS. And what they did, their mother had left us um, for five years, had nothing to do with the kids. Uh, They got their fingers in on me during a uh, nasty divorce. But um, basically, I was the picture-perfect parent, and they uh, bad-mouthed me and tried to throw a lot of slanderous claims against me that didn't stick. They even had crooked attorneys that I had hired that they bought off to throw the case. And long story short, um, I, I believe that a lot of your listeners might benefit from what I have to offer offer as far as knowledge. It'd be really nice if you had a phone that worked, because we want to hear what you have to say, Pete. Can you hear me now? 